what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you are back to your motherland receiving such highest honor? I am. Uh, I have to thank all those people who are behind me. The many Indian origin people who are in Sri Lanka, who deserve uh, better conditions, and which is why we are working towards better conditions. And the Indian government is helping us with this. So that's one of it. We talk of Ceylon tea, and you know Ceylon tea. Everybody knows Ceylon tea, but these are the workers who have put Ceylon tea on the map with their blood, sweat, and tears. So um, we hope we can change their lifestyles bring them forward and um, do as much as we can for their welfare. Thank you. Uh, sir, uh, if we have to understand, in Sri Lanka, past few years have been, uh, you know, Sri Lanka has gone through crisis. How is it that, uh, you know, what were the kind of movements over there and what is it that uh, you as an Indian has uh, went ahead? And, uh, yes, the crisis Vitamin, period yeah. were some issues. Uh, I'm not going to comment on politics. politics and so on and so forth, but certainly India's um, neighborhood policy has helped us a lot with medicine, fuel, fertilizer, which we needed very badly, and uh, housing. That has done a great deal of uh, work and they're very forward looking. The High Commissioner uh, is, is, is an extremely, uh, shall I say, forward person and he has all this and overview of what should be done in Sri Lanka. So very thankful to him too. So, uh, when did you leave uh, country India and uh, how the whole uh, map has been from then till now? I am the fourth generation, so we left, we went to Sri Lanka probably in the 1830s, 1820s. Mm -hmm. We are talking about great grandfathers uh -huh. and if I am the fourth generation, you know what it is. So we went, many of us went as uh, tea plantation workers taken by the British and we have come up in life as, but, as much as, as best as we can and uh, there's much more to be done. Uh, and uh, the whole community welfare, the inputs that you are talking about, uh, that has been focused on uh, what and past few on years? quality of life, on education, health and housing. Big projects that if you can throw a bit of light so that we understand you more. Yeah, we are working, with the, we are working with the Indian government to build uh, houses. These people live in line rooms, you know, you call them line rooms, mm -hmm. like dormitory style. Mm -hmm. So how do we get them houses on their own? How do we make them break out so that they don't have a... Uh, restricted mentality and they are free people to do what they want that's one uh, education we need to help them grow up in the educational sphere there aren't enough universities uh, to take in students so we are asking the Indian government to help us with the university and also give scholarships not only to us but all of Sri Lankans to study in India so that uh, you know if, they, if there's no university these are the students who might get into narcotics, whatever you have. Mm -hmm. And it's better to educate them so that we give them opportunities, not only in Sri Lanka, but across the world. Lastly, few words for your country, India, and uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. <laughs> it's always wonderful to come back. And as, uh, I'm not sure who mentioned. Mr. Sandhya you, mentioned, to return back? Yes, not yeah. only to return I, back. In fact, I wanted to stress on that. Uh, what are your plans of returning not back? To, no, there's no way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, whatever. Sure. Yeah. But uh, you may leave India, but India doesn't leave you. So it's always in your heart. And That's it. Uh, what about Prime Minister Narendra Modi? And what's for the uh, he, yes, he's wonderful because he's shown such uh, leadership. I think it's unprecedented. The G20, uh, fantastic. I mean, I hope we can all work with him and move on the same plane as India is moving. Thank you.